There's no doubt that conflict over water is something that's been happening since the dawn of time. If you're going to say something important about water in California, you have to expect that somebody is not going to be happy with it entirely. I have never met somebody who farms in the Central Valley who doesn't love clean water, abundant wildlife, beautiful natural areas. I do think about the rivers. We live here as well as farm here. No, there's a, there's a lot of risk. You know, people say, do you want to go to Las Vegas? I say, no, I, I face that kind of risk every day. I gamble for a living. Why, why do I want to go do it for fun? So why do we do it? Well, one reason we do it is we think it's the right thing to do. And the other reason is because we want to be leaders. In other words, we think the rest of the world eventually will figure out that we're right. I think almost all of the narrative that vilifies any person in a natural resource conflict is related to, not, to lack of understanding and not knowing one another. Where's the science? The document talks about that there will be 1,100 fish that would be of increase that would make it into the San Joaquin River. Maybe the Merced will get 200 of them. And, and our point was, is it worth to destroy an economy for 200 fish? We view this as an emergency room. And until somebody provides a do not resuscitate order for smelt or salmon or any other species, we are required to do everything we can to try and reverse the trends. And science is a key component. We talk about this a lot at River Partners. This is urgent.